Hi, welcome to Studio Elite uh, ADA. We are actually uh, doing website training today. We're going to teach you how to um, <clears throat> edit the home page sections. Uh, you did. Um, we did do a video uh, that ex kind of explained how to do the um, the class descriptions uh, and the rocket sprocket module, which uh, does happen to include uh, this would be this section of the home page, which is a module, um, and then of course uh, this latest photos. Uh, is also a module and styles of dance is a ro another rocket sprocket uh, and it's also a module and so you can see here that the home page is um, a collaborative effort of modules um, within uh, one within um, basically row by row uh, are modules that are then added to the home page <clears throat> okay and um, <clears throat> of course, uh, we also have uh, some template options here at the top. But the home page actually starts about right here. And so, uh, you've personally asked how to edit this uh, this section here. Um, this is a module. However, it's not a, a rock sprocket or a gallery module or any other module. It's uh, just what, what we call a custom module. Um, so you'll want to go into your modules here, extensions, uh, modules, and um, uh, typically you can filter. Uh, you can see here uh, you have the type. Of modules, a custom HTML, HTML module. Let's go ahead and uh, obviously remove the filter here. Um, on the left hand side, you can see the different module types um, articles, custom HTML, calendar, uh, Facebook, um, breadcrumbs, social buttons, etc. Um, but the uh, anytime you want to do custom content such as this uh, that doesn't require a component um, or a plugin. Uh, you just want text and maybe to modify maybe the the way this te text on the top here looks to format that a little differently um, you would go and use a custom module so you'd go to your modules then you'd click either you'd go new module and then you'd go down to custom HTML and this is basically like your own text okay so let's go back that's what we did with the frozen uh, section here frozen open house uh, so let's go to uh, let's do a search for frozen now remember on all the modules on the website uh, they're primarily labeled by the first letter or by the the title of the module itself so you always want to search this title name that's that keeps us pretty consistent you can search class descriptions you can search uh, latest photos um, and that's usually your key so you'd come in here and then you'd search frozen and that would be the title of that particular module and you can see here uh, frozen open house it's a custom it's in utility position a okay and uh, let's go look at this a little bit here Pages are taking a minute to refresh. My computer and it's going a little slow today. Okay, and uh, let's go to custom output, and this is the editor box here. Um, you'll notice that it's kind of hard to see the formatting here. Um, we've actually included formatting uh, on this title here. Um, we've included it in the HTML here. We gave it a promo two class here so that it matched the rest of the website. The way we found that is, is uh, say for example, you go to class descriptions, you click inspect element, right click using Chrome or uh, inspect element using Firefox. And you'll notice here the class, it's in a P tag class, promo to non margin. Uh, and then of course, we you can edit HTML and then control C, copy all of this and just replace the text. So if you want to use a, <clears throat> if you don't know styling, uh, if you want to use this as your template for the next one, uh, then go ahead and just disable this. Um, and then uh, edit the text and then edit the title here this uh, this information uh, here and uh, it should look similar to this um, to to this right here uh, maybe something a little wider a little fuller there uh, we didn't have much content on this one so we did our best to make it match up good so that it matched the rest of the site and um, uh, that's about it so uh, here's your options obviously to we wanna we can hide this now or here's where you hide the title um, uh, we hid the title and we actually included the title within the custom output here. Um, if we didn't hide the title, let's go ahead and look and see what that would look like. Let's click show and click save. Come back to the front page um, and refresh. The titles in the site that are built into the template here uh, kind of look like this, um, but they don't match. They don't look nice and large and nice and big and bold and don't have quite uh, the size. They're not centered within the page. And uh, We could have done something like this, but in order to make it match the rest of the site, we actually hid the title uh, that the template uh, the formatting of the, the regular title and then we included the title within the custom output and uh, and put it here 
uh, in this space. So um, obviously you have your editor. We included a little bit of training on how to use the editor. You might want to maybe take a look a little. It's, you know, it's common. It's almost like a, uh, a Word, Microsoft Word editor. Um, and that's about it. So you just use this text box to, to get that output. Obviously assign it to the page that you want to assign it to. It's assigned to the home page only. And then also the options, it's in the position utility A. Uh, if you remember correctly, um, let's see. Uh, the uh, I didn't actually have, I haven't had it this, this open for a while. But the, um, and I believe I included it. You probably already have it. The template that you needed uh, for this particular site. Um, I know you have the listing, but obviously if you need to find a position, um, you would obviously choose the position that you need based on the template design uh, that was included in some of the other tutorials and you probably already have bookmark now I just can't find the bookmark so but at any rate uh, this is the response to your question on how to change the uh, module that's on the home page here um, in this section here and um, if you want to add any other modules you add custom modules the same way and you just put them in different uh, rows uh, within the home page and to be sure that uh, that the menu assignment is on the home page here so uh, if not, if you want to just modify this and change this to something else, that's great. Uh, if not, you'll go back to the details and you will unpublish this. Click Save. Okay, go back. Okay, wait till it refreshes. Hit Refresh here. Okay. And, uh,. <clears throat> Okay, it looks like the content itself was actually put in a, a second module. That explains why the other frozen one was go there. The other frozen was there. Go back. Um, I, I'm not sure why that was done, uh, but there is the listing here. We want to unpublish that as well. Uh, it was also titled frozen because it went in the frozen section. And now you have your class descriptions. It's completely removed from the site. And uh, now you're back to your regular home page that you had, and you can basically add custom content to this home page the same way, also to any of the other pages the same way, using a custom module and then placing it in the position that you need within the page using the, uh, the, the position uh, layouts uh, from the Rocket Theme uh, module or Rocket Theme um, uh, position variations uh, page that was supplied to you. I hope this blessed you. I hope it didn't explain your questions. I hope you have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.